Ah, Chester's back. It didn't even seem like seven days to me. I guess that old. Uh, shit, I can't even think what it, what the word is when you do the uh, effigy thing. Oh, Chester, we got stuff to do, but I'm sorry about that queen. <coughs> I forgot she was down there, Chester. Now, anybody that's worried about me straining my voice, don't worry too much. I'm not a singer anyway. And it isn't like what uh, the direction the good Lord wanted to take with my voice was anything very beautiful anyway. It's kind of funny if any of you ever wondered. I don't smoke cigarettes. I quit when my son was born. I used to smoke a pipe at that time. And he'd be about a year old and he'd pick up my pipe. And it was really cute. He'd be in his little walker picking up my pipe and playing with my typewriter. I used to write fantasy then. I never sold any and that's pretty much why I don't write it now. Of course, I work too. But my dad died of cancer, and, and uh, my mother and I were able to keep him at home for the whole year he spent doing that. And so I, and it was lung cancer. He smoked three packs of Chesterfields non-filters a day his whole life. But he was also one of the soldiers in the South Pacific during World War II. And when they were occupying Japan, one of the cool things, because nobody knew any better, was they, not cool, but one of the things they did was visit the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atom bomb sites because nobody realized there would be lasting damage. So he had more than cigarettes in the cards against him. But after a year of that, I, I wouldn't... Oh, shoot. Come over here, Chester. But anyway, my son doesn't smoke, and I'm glad of it. I figure anybody that does, it's your business, but I'm glad he doesn't. So anyway, Chester's back. Everything's back to normal. I was actually thinking about what I never think about, which is harvesting some uh, beefalo for hunting hams. Hell, it'd be the easiest thing in the world. Alright, if you haven't ever seen this, it's a way to harvest a bunch of birdies. It's also what I did to get crap, so that finally at the end I cheated. And just reset over and over. Just put the feathered hat on, it increases the amount of birds that land. You throw down some seeds to get them. Hopefully I don't whack a bee. What I want is uh, black feathers to make sleeping darts. Now, pre-update... If you uh, shot a beefalo with a sleeping dart, you would aggro a beefalo, which is kind of handy. You don't have to do that old chase all over the map thing, and you can kill your beefalo one at a time. Now, the darts are sort of expensive, so that's kind of up to you. I've got, like, swamp that's in my backyard with no tentacles, so I might as well get the reeds out of it. Now, if you don't know, I killed about 145 Krampus in order to get the sack. Most people got theirs in under 20. That's one thing that freaks me about the tree guards is... uh. I never hit on those 1% chances. Damn you. <clears throat> Boy, I'm off today. But it takes like 30 or so to get Krampus. And uh, Redbirds are worth two, and I'm starting to hear him, and I really don't feel like dealing with him. I, don't, I, never made, I haven't made a panpipe in this world. So anyway, that'll do it. I don't need a million darts. I'm off to aggravate the beefalo with, uh, oh crap, red ass beefalo. Wouldn't you know it? I think you might get them all if you do this. Nope, got one. I didn't come any further. Uh, I'm gonna get ganged. Well, now they're not red assed anymore. I wonder if they fixed that. Son of a bitch. No, it used to be he would chase you. Well, now that one's... <coughs> Somebody commented they had some red ass and some not.
No, he's not chasing at all. Now let's do it the old fashioned way. That's weird, everybody but him came after me. If I can get one to chase me all the way. Well, oh, shit, that won't work. Everywhere I go, there's more beefalo. That's not good. And red ass beefalo. <laughs> this was badly considered, I think. Oh, that's Krampus. Now, it's been my experience that killing him at night isn't much of a challenge. I don't, yeah, I did kill one up here. I don't know if you can get close to him at night or not. Evidently, they're not in their usual gentle mood. <laughs> yeah, one of them's chasing me now. Oh, well, I got what I wanted. Oh, I'm going to have to go down there and get my uh, backpack again. Now I'm at 28.51. And it filled up health, and not nearly that. It mainly dragon for just cooked dragon fruit or pomegranate doesn't do much to your food, but it's good for your health. I don't remember where the hell I was. Now, when they're mating or red ass, they will kill birds. They will kill bunnies, and I still can't believe they haven't made this horn run down yet. Not the horn, the uh, hat. Usually, uh, stuff that's useful as far as hats runs down. Of course, you all know that. Like spider hats and miner hats. Oh, there wasn't anything worth worrying about in that anyway. Well, I have no idea what stage of development that was, but I haven't been over here except the other night in a long time. I think even if they're ready to go queen, if you hit them before they are with that fire, it kind of screws up the transition. Alright, over here there's obviously another island. Now, <clears throat> they've said that there are places on the maps, there are islands that can't be reached. 
and eventually they'll have wormholes to them and I don't think that means they'll fix the existing maps. I think in the future that may I think that means in the future there won't be islands that don't have wormholes to them. I think the air all right, I haven't explored all this or all that or all this swamp area. And I think this is an island I can't reach. It's not impossible that somewhere in the unexplored area there's a a portal to that out in that swamp or down around there. Well, if I was any further from home, I'd be on somebody else's damn map. Now, I think there's a road up here. No, the road's over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, well. I think I got a long walk home. I'm doing is making more flowers, if you don't know. <clears throat> the more flowers you have, the more honey your uh, beehives produce, the more quickly they produce it. I always have, I'm standing at the wrong angle for these damn butterflies. And I don't, I don't have the patience. It reminds me of uh, fishing in Minecraft. Theoretically, if you walk through the flowers, the butterflies will spring up or fly up, whatever. I actually did this at maybe 374, and uh, the amount of honey was just freaking amazing. But it drives me nuts doing it. You can also make butter muffins. It's uh, two butterflies dead and uh, two carrots, and they have a lot. Of, they used to have a lot of healing. I guess they still do. See, I'm starting to get honey from the beehives I just made. The next big expedition is probably going to be down to the swamps to uh, get tentacles. And I may not, I don't know, well, actually I ought to take Chester, but I may leave him. I'd like to explore that map. Probably made a mistake putting these uh, fireflies here. They'll probably get killed by these little you know what? Piggies, you're a jobber piggies today. That's about all the talking I'm doing, buddies. See how we do with tree guards today. Not so good. They may kill him. They did. They ate his little heart. I 
Okay, we have a pig named Kevin in here. And we have a pig named Porky. So we have developer Kevin and Porky the pig in here. 